Today I'm diving into nine genius Garmin hacks you can master in no time. Did you know that personalizing your Garmin can drastically improve your fitness journey? From customizing watch faces to optimizing your pace tracking, these tips will help transform how you use your smartwatch. Plus, we've got two bonus hacks that'll take your Garmin game to the next level. So grab your Garmin and let's get started. Let's kick off your first hack, personalizing your Garmin. Did you know that Garmin has its very own app store called Connect IQ. It's a treasure trove of both Garmin and third-party apps that are there to enhance your device. You can access Connect IQ in three ways. Through the web, by downloading the app on your mobile phone, or directly on your device. Once you're in, the customization options are endless. You can download new watch faces to give your device a fresh look, add data fields to display exactly the information you need, and install widgets and apps to increase functionality. Let's move on to our next hack, using lap pace instead of current or instantaneous pace. GPS devices can be quite frustrating when it comes to using current pace. You'll notice a lot of variation and adjustment on a second by second basis, and this can be quite irritating. Current pace is also a bit laggy. It shows you the pace that you were running five to seven seconds ago. This makes it very unreliable when doing a workout or trying to figure out your current pace. Instead, try switching to lap pace. Lap pace is the average of your current lap, be that one kilometer, one mile, or half a mile. It is much more robust and less prone to wild swings in paces and therefore allows you to maintain a steady pace during intervals and workouts. To change lap pace on a Garmin device, follow these steps. One, access your settings. Two, edit the data fields for your activity. And three, make sure one of the fields selected is for lap pace. For detailed instructions, check out the links in the description. This next Garmin feature is fantastic if you want to stay within a given range for that specific metric on a run. For example, you might want to keep your pace between 8 and 10 minutes per mile on a run, or when doing something like the math method, you want to keep your heart rate between 130 and 140 beats per minute. I'm talking about setting range alerts on your watch. By setting range alerts directly on your watch, your watch will alert you when you fall outside of those ranges while you are training. This helps you maintain your desired effort level without constantly checking your watch. For more detailed information on how to set range alerts, you can visit the Garmin support page. Now, before I share with you the two bonus hacks that are literally game changers for taking advantage of your Garmin, let's look at genius hack number four. It's an incredibly effective way to enhance your performance by incorporating targeted workouts into your Garmin device. Hack number four, interval training and structured workouts. You can set up simple interval workouts on your device, such as one repetition using distance or time, followed by a rest period, and repeat this multiple times. For example, eight times 400 meters with a 90 second rest, or five times five minutes with a one minute rest. These intervals help you build endurance and speed without the need for constant manual tracking. If you want to create more complex workouts, you can use Garmin Connect, either through the web or mobile app. As a bonus on the Coach Parry app, you can actually take the workouts that have been built by our coaches and send those directly to your Garmin. Genius Garmin hack number five, the Pace Pro feature. Many runners like to run with a pace band around their wrist so that they can stay on track and achieve their goal. The Pace Pro feature allows you to create a custom pace band based on distance and pace or distance and time. You can also create a pace band for a known course to optimize the pace effort based on elevation changes. It uses a route map that is uploaded if you've run an event or if you have a GPX file or drawn by the user. Then it uses the elevation to determine paces for a goal. You can change the strategy like even split or negative split, which means running a bit faster in the second half. And for the latter, you can decide how aggressive or conservative you want to be. You can also adjust hill running effort. 
Send the Pace Pro plan to your watch and when you run the course, it will give you lap by lap pacing. It also adjusts on the fly. If you start out too fast or start out too slow, it will adjust based on your time goal. Before I share with you hack number six, which is the really cool audio prompts, I want to share with you bonus hack number one. Controlling music from your smartphone directly on your Garmin device. This is a game changer, especially if your watch isn't a music device with storage, but you still want to manage your tunes. First, make sure your watch is connected to Garmin Connect. Once connected, you have two ways to control your music. Use the music control widget or hold down the button to bring up music controls. From here, you can play, pause, skip tracks, go back and adjust the volume. This feature ensures you stay in control of your music without needing to constantly interact with your phone. Let's talk about audio prompts on your Garmin device. A great feature that lets you get on with workouts without constantly needing to check your watch. When you set up range alerts for a workout or a pace pro race using pace and or heart rate, you can get notifications from your watch through beeps and vibrations. But if your watch is compatible, you can also get them in audio prompts. For music devices, you can set this up directly on your device and get prompts through your headphones. Non-music devices and even music devices can be paired with a smartphone that has Garmin Connect installed. This setup will send audio prompts through your phone speaker or via headset if it's connected. A quick safety note, be aware that the use of a headset during exercise can dampen your perception of distance. For example, hazards and cars may be closer than you think they are, so stay aware at all times. Hack number seven is all about safety, live track. Live track allows your friends and loved ones to be able to track exactly where you are during a particular activity. This feature is incredibly useful for ensuring your safety while out on a bike ride, a run, and in particular, a hike. Your watch needs to be paired with a phone that has an active internet connection and is connected to the Garmin Connect app. Add family and friends from your contacts list to share your location live. They will receive a link via email or you can send them the link via text or any messaging app once you start your activity. This way, your loved ones can track you in real time, giving you peace of mind and an added layer of safety while you work out. Before we get to the final two genius hacks, let's look at the second bonus hack. This one is especially for those of you who do parkrun. Get your parkrun barcode on your Garmin device by using the Parkrun Barcode Connect IQ app. Using your Garmin Connect app, you can add your Parkrun Barcode. It will appear as a widget, and you can switch it to a QR code by pushing the Start button. Now, genius hack number eight is Track Back Navigation. Track Back or Back to Start Navigation allows you to track back along a current GPS route. This can only be performed for tracks that are actively recording GPS. It will not work for recorded activities or for activities that aren't actually recording GPS. The steps to perform track back or back to the start will vary depending on your model. You need to check out your owner's manual to see exactly how you do it. This feature will allow you to track back along a route that you've already done. It will not appear as a map but simply as a line that you need to follow to get back to the start. Genius Garmin hack number nine, for those of you that want to smash your 5k PBs, is Garmin's track mode. We all know how notoriously inaccurate GPS when running around tracks. This is because of the short straights and long bends. The error can be four or five percent, which means that when you run 5k around the track, you can end up with 200 or 250 meters short if you just track it on normal function. Most new devices now support track mode. It calibrates for 400 meter standard track and it remembers the track. You need two to four laps to calibrate and each track you calibrate is stored separately. When using track mode, you need to set a lane number and stay in this lane for the duration to ensure the best accuracy. Here's an example that we tracked for in Tutu using track mode in lane one for 5,000 meters. The thing is, 
Are these gadgets just fancy arm accessories or are they really game changers for athletes and fitness enthusiasts? Join us in this video as we juxtapose real life lab tests with the data in Ntutu's Garmin. We're on a mission to debunk the myths and uncover the startling truths about VO2 max readings.